Introducing the AMD and Art Environmental Field Trip Experience. Vintendale is located west of Evansburg, just off Route 22. It is becoming a focal point for environmental education. This acid mine drainage treatment site offers students valuable lessons in the history of coal mining and its effects on the environment. I think the AMD site in Vintendale is probably one of the best sites here in the county for environmental education because not only can you study the past, you can, you can see the future there too. Dr. Alan Comp is the founder of AMD and Art. He works in the Office of Surface Mining in the Department of the Interior in Washington, D.C. Let me give you a quick tour of the site. Um, remember that this entire site is bordered by the Ghost Town Trail, the line that you see up here. A trail that's a rail trail that attracts 75 or 80,000 people a year. In the upper end of the site on the west side are the long series of treatment system ponds. Those are dealing with acid mine drainage. Acid mine drainage is an acidic aqueous solution, but it deposits orange gunk on the bottom of a stream, kills the bottom of the food chain, and leaves the stream dead. That's where all this orange color comes from. Once we've treated the water, at this point we have clean water, and that clean water goes into seven acres of new wetlands, um, co-designed with the Wildlife Habitat Council, and probably, when we're done, among the richest of habitats in the region. AMD and Art has the help of its AmeriCorps staff on site. They take students and teachers on guided tours of the treatment ponds, the wetlands, and the nature trail. They also provide in-class instruction using handouts that students can work with during their visit. Many of the topics covered fit into the requirements of the Academic Standards for Environment and Ecology set forth by the Pennsylvania Department of Education. What we're trying to do is uh, establish a good relationship with area schools and educators. And to promote this and to get it more integrated with the school, we've had uh, over the last couple of days 15 to 20 educators coming out and uh, taking a look at the site, talking with the program director, Alan Comp. I think AMD and Art offers fabulous opportunities for teachers to take their students to an outdoor environment that covers not only our local history in mining and the devastation sometimes that mining has caused, but also the environmental impact of every area of mining. The Vintendale site is not exclusive to just a science curriculum. It can also be utilized for art, history, social studies, and much more. The kids last year in fifth grade really got a lot out of it. So we wrote a grant and we're going to have the students go down and visit again here in fifth grade. We're also going to take our fourth grade students down and do some preliminary studies so that they're ready for it in fifth grade as well. But we think it's an excellent site for students. AMD and Art invites you to take advantage of this wonderful environmental field trip experience. To contact AMD and Art for scheduling and reservations, Call 814-539-8404 or email amdnart at amdnart.org. The coal regions of Appalachia are an enduring legacy of our country's industrial heritage. Some reminders of that legacy are the thousands of miles of abandoned mine tunnels and acid mine drainage that flows from them. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, acid mine drainage is Appalachia's biggest water quality problem. Acid mine drainage is the orange, silent signature of dying communities. AMD and Art is working to transform environmental liabilities into community assets. Through interdisciplinary intervention and public participation, treatment systems become recreational sites, art parks, educational centers, and historical exhibits that serve people as well as Mother Nature. In regions haunted by mining, innovative design is bringing new hope. Next. This is the drainage. This is coming out of the mine. Breathing new life into America's wastelands. Every region that mined coal um, in the 19th and first half of the 20th century is afflicted at one level or another by lots of acid mine drainage. 
Historian Alan Comp researches the social and economic impact of coal mining on Appalachia. He's the founder of the a and &E and Art Project. a and &E and Art is a, a project that is trying very hard to engage rural, usually impoverished communities in fixing up what has been left behind by this coal mining and legacy. Um, and for us, the way to do that is to find ways that really engage that community. I uh, shut the mines down in, I think, 1963, wasn't it? I think so. 79-year-old John Malloy and 89-year-old Lloyd Williams was, both worked in the coal mines of Vintendale. Yeah. I worked in both mines, number, number six and number one. I worked in the mine 24, almost 25 years myself. The AMD and Art site in Vintendale has attracted national attention like the coverage you just saw from CNN. This project came out of um, an interest in trying to address a problem of history. Um, in this region, coal was once the sort of dominant economic force, coal and steel, um, and railroads, all of which were sort of intertwined. And when that whole economy um, essentially disappeared after World War II, it left in its wake a lot of uh, disoriented people and disoriented communities. Um, it also left in its wake a lot of acid mine drainage, you know, the consequences of old underground coal mining. Um, trying to find some way to address that in a way that re that sort of brought communities back together and that gave people some sense of a connection to a past in which they could take some pride. Let me give you a quick tour of the site. Um, remember that this entire site is bordered by the Ghost Town Trail, the line that you see up here. A trail that's a rail trail that attracts 75 or 80,000 people a year. That gives us a public audience for this entire project that is really important to our site selection. In the upper end of the site, on the west side, are the long series of treatment system ponds. Those are dealing with acid mine drainage. Acid mine drainage is an acidic aqueous solution, but it deposits orange gunk on the bottom of a stream, kills the bottom of the food chain, and leaves the stream dead. That's where all this orange color comes from. Once we've treated the water, at this point we have clean water, and that clean water goes into seven acres of new wetlands, um, co-designed with the Wildlife Habitat Council, and probably when we're done among the richest of habitats in the region uh, for wetland habitat. Interestingly, the, the foundations of the large industrial buildings that were once on this site are the center of that history wetlands. So this long linear form of coke oven foundations and the large building foundations are still present on the site and kind of bring that history back to the surface um, at the site. And then in the center of the site is an active recreation area. Um, baseball, soccer, volleyball, horseshoes, lots of other activities like that. Part of what we've done with this site is to take a site that was in the earliest 20th century the heart of Vintendale, the real place where people worked, where the whistle blew and the town's life was driven by that whistle. Today it's become the new center of vitality and life in this small town of Vintendale. We've had the opportunity to work with so many wonderful people. This has been a real partnership effort and uh, artists, landscape artists, uh, designers, scientists, you name it. Everybody has worked together. Really the backbone has been the people of the community of Vintendale. We were involved with a couple projects trying to clean up the streams and then the AMD and art idea came along and um, we thought it was, was a marvelous idea because it tried to use the effort to clean up the streams to engage the community and bring about a broader community development and, and revitalization effort. Sure it'll be a big success and we're hoping that this same type of concept could be applied elsewhere in our region. I think it's just wonderful. I, I think it's going to be a beautiful park. It's going to be an attraction. We're going to have uh, people coming by the bus loads, I'm sure. Uh, the approach that Alan Kopp and his people are taking to this uh, acid mine drainage problem, which is so prevalent in western Pennsylvania, is truly unique. We're very proud of our association with AMD and Art. The water here is more acidic than vinegar is. Vinegar would be about a 4 pH or so, and this would be 10 times more acidic. So the first thing we have to do is to neutralize it. 
similar to something like Rolaids taking care of excess stomach acid, we're going to use limestone to neutralize the acid that's in the water. Once we neutralize the acid, the, there are metals that are dissolved in the water. Once that we've neutralized it, those metals will fall out to the bottom of the ponds and then the water will be clearer and can be discharged and will support life. Mining companies can use active treatment because they're mining an economic resource and they can pay for the cost of doing that. On this site, we're using passive treatment for two reasons. First of all, it's a lot cheaper to maintain. We're not buying chemicals, we're not paying labor. Uh, there are minimal maintenance costs once the system is installed. Secondly, um, it's really a lot prettier. One of the most amazing things about this cleaning process of the water is the different colors that it turns. It's an extraordinary transition from this, this sort of scary orange to a kind of pea soup green and then it sort of blues out in the end. That movement from orange to blue is, is the sort of the colors of healing the waters. And we're going to really play that up in this project by um, reiterating and enlarging those colors through the vegetation that we're using in what we call our litmus garden. It's showing the changing water quality through the vegetation that's designed to be around each of the pools. The whole AmeriCorps program in this project has been absolutely critical. We're hoping uh, and planning to put in a baseball field and a horseshoe pit and a volleyball court. Um, a sand volleyball court was something that a lot of the teenagers were really excited about. These three ponds are wetland treatment cells. Visitors to the AMD and Art site can walk along a nature trail, rest on the benches built by the townspeople, and enjoy a picnic lunch under the pavilion built by the Naval Seabees. The Environmental Center is the educational hub of the AMD and Art site. Well, what we're trying to do is uh, establish a good relationship with area schools and educators, and to do that, we've uh, had students come out on the site and practice what they're learning on the field. Your fantasy for the site in 20 years. You'll see, you know, kind of undulating green hillsides and, you know, trees 20, 25 years old now. Um, you'll see uh, an active community um, engaged in that site as a part of the community. Maybe more important, what I would see as part of my fantasy is a hundred more sites kind of like that in places all over coal country. That would be my real fantasy. For many years we were too environmental for the arts funders and too artsy for the environmental funders. And what we've done is to create a site that has art and environment all in the same place and supported by a rich variety of um, very um, adventuresome funders which we deeply appreciate.